Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this is your, uh, we're doing uh, a bi-weekly reading today. We're going to do 1st to the 15th of April 2019. Uh, and for your reading Aquarians, we are using, I just got this new deck, <laughs> another one. <laughs> Can't help it, I love the tarot. I just really like different decks. And um, we're using the Dreaming Way Tarot, okay? Uh, so this is by Roma, I think it's Roma Choi. Uh, with what, whenever I uh, finish work, so basically, you know that I work as a full-time tarot reader, so when I finish my clients, the evening time I'll settle down, um, usually maybe with a you know a little glass of um, little glass of gin and uh, and um, I don't drink every night obviously not at all but usually a little drink of gin and lemonade or uh, you know just a lemonade or some water or something like that dinner and then I'll sit down and I'll watch YouTube and I'll watch different readers and uh, I was what well, I can't remember what her name is but she does a lot of kind of the celebrity readings and that on Harry and Meghan and that type of thing. She's really good, uh, really like this lady. Uh, she doesn't show her face though, she just shows the cards. And um, she was using this, she always uses loads of different decks as well. So um, I saw this and then I went onto another channel and there's another lady, oh God, I can't remember her name, but she's really good. And she does a lot of um, reviews on tarot decks and I saw this and I was like, I'm in love. So I got these. And we're just gonna use one card from this deck, okay? Just to look at what you need to focus on for the next two weeks, first of the 15th of April. Uh, we then use my trusty old codgers, the Enchantment Everyday Enchantment Tarot. They're starting to get me scuffed on the sides those because I use them so much, but I love that deck. So we're using this to kind of fill in the gaps on the reading. Um, and sort of looking at the outcome towards, uh, you know, the middle of April. Uh, we are also using the, another sort of semi-new deck, two months old or so, the Wheel of, just a few weeks, I think, Wheel of the Year Tarot um, by uh, Maria Karate and Antonella Platano. We're using that to just get five additional cards on any other information the universe wants you to know over the next two weeks, Aquarius and the tea leaf cards as well. Three cards from there just to fill in any more advice that they want you to know. So we try and just get as much advice as we possibly can for the month, for the for the for the two weeks, okay. And for your spiritual advice, one I've got about three of his decks now. Carl Gray, he is just phenomenal. Uh, I used to love uh, Doreen version, I still do, but this is my man. This is my go-to man now. Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards, oh my god, and the quality of the cards is unreal, amazing. So we're going to use that for your spiritual advice for the next two weeks as well. So let's shuffle the cards guys and let's uh, just ask the universe, uh, what is it that you need to be focusing on? So universe, spirit, what is it that Aquarius needs to focus on between the 1st and the 15th of April 2019? What is it that Aquarius needs to be focusing on between the 1st and the 15th of April 2019 in one card. So let's have a look. You need to focus on the page of coins. Uh, I feel that you need to focus on money, being careful with your resources. Some of you guys, it might be a child. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a young female uh, page of coins, maybe up to the age of 22. So some of you guys might have daughters up to that age, and maybe this is someone you need to focus on. Uh, some of you guys, page of coins is also about money, so this is all about budgeting and being careful with your finances with the page of coins. So some of you guys, it might be that you need to focus on budgeting, being careful with those finances over the next couple of weeks, Aquarius. Uh, the page of coins could also be perhaps the setting up of a new business as well. So some of you guys possibly focusing on maybe setting up some form of an enterprise over the next couple of weeks. Page of Coins is also about learning about business, learning about finance. This is somebody who learns, uh, he's usually a student of uh, agriculture, a student of um, a student of finance, a student of maths. He's a student in terms of um, architecture is the Page of Coins energy. So if there's anything in those areas uh, that you're looking at, um, this could be a student of health as well. So he might be a student doctor, for example, with the Page of Coins energy. Um, so learning and education it might be the focus is on. If you're focusing on education, maybe it's in one of those areas as well. Let's have a look at what the past of the situation is uh, for you, uh, Aquarians, uh, in this situation. So we said that, you know, the focus for the next two weeks needs to be on money, budgeting, being careful, being responsible, learning how to handle your money. For some of you guys, it's a child, uh, could be a young girl up to around the age of 22, 23, probably at the most with that page of coins energy. Um, it could be on learning something, educating yourself, going back to college for some of you guys. In the past, Aquarius, for some of you guys, what you had was the Knight of Wands reversed. 
All right, so some of you guys, uh, you've lost your passion. You may have lost your drive with the Knight of Wands energy in the reverse. Sometimes the Knight of Wands energy in the reverse can be overdoing things as well. So some of you guys, it can go either side of the spectrum. Some of you guys, and it does. Uh, the Knight of Wands in reverse is kind of reckless and he's kind of out of control and he's really unpredictable. So for some of you guys in the past, you might have lost control. You might have gone, you know, uh, overdid things, overdid parting or overdid kind of, you know, um, having a good time. Maybe there, were no, there was no structure here in the past with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. For some of you guys, it might also be that you just slowed down or you lost passion with that Knight of Wands in the reverse. Some of you guys didn't have a direction as well in the past because the Knight of Wands uh, in the reverse is with pretty much all of the Knights reversed except for maybe the Knight of Cups. Uh, they tend to not have directions except for the Knight of Cups really. Uh, you might have lost your direction I think for some of you guys with the Knight of Wands in the past. Energy showing there Aquarius and um, you've got the King of Coins energy showing here. So some of you guys, I think that you lost direction. Uh, could be concerning a individual King of Coins. Uh, this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So some of you guys, it might be you lost your way, you lost your direction, or you slowed down, or you ceased, uh, you ceased pursuing a King of Coins energy showing here. Might be that you stopped pursuing a particular job, or you stopped pursuing a goal. King of Coins, remember, is the finished article. He's the finished product. He's the goal. So some of you guys gave up a goal as well. You stopped pursuing with the Knight of Wands in reverse a goal with the King of Coins. You could have stopped pursuing an individual here as well with this King of Coins. Uh, energy showing uh, up here. Oh, upsy daisy. Um, Aquarians. And I feel that with the Eight of Wands in the, in the upright now, this is all about you guys are now focusing on kind of relaunching this thing, I think. I think that you are focusing because the Eight of Wands is to launch. And the Eight of Wands is, you know, to um, set into motion. So I actually feel that you, though you became in the past um, uh, uh, Aquarians kind of demotivated, the Knight of Wands is demotivated, and you kind of lacked motivation with the Knight of Wands energy, and you may have stopped pursuing a goal uh, with the King of Coins energy showing there. I do feel that it might also be a person who is kind of, uh, right now helped you to start kind of um, who's helped to kind of raise your vibrations or they're motivating you because the eight of wands is all about motivation as well so it might be that you kind of stopped pursuing a goal um, uh, with the king of wands uh, knight of wands sorry in the reverse here and this, this being the goal here could be money could be finance could be a job goal for example uh, you stopped uh, pursuing a goal something you wanted to achieve but it might be that there is a person the king of coins energy that now is motivating you to do this or it might be money the king of coins energy showing here uh is because I'm, I'm doubling up the card so i'm seeing you kind of lacking motivation in terms of a goal stop not pursuing a goal anymore but then this could double up as being a person or with the king of coins energy it might be you know your focus is now again on money or on achieving a goal and this is motivating you now with the eight of wands energy to move forward uh i feel for some of you guys and i feel that the thinking aquarius going into um concerning this okay and also it might be some of you guys didn't go for a job maybe you received a letter maybe you were successful with a job maybe you didn't go for it as well but I think that the thinking concerning this now, Aquarius, going into the next two weeks for some of you guys is the Eight of Cups energy showing here. So I don't know what it is with you guys, but you seem to be showing us kind of, um, this is the focus is on following a new path. I think that there's some form of confusion that you want to leave behind because you do have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups, when that shows up, it's usually about confusion, mental confusion. Um, your heart isn't in something. And I get the impression that your mental focus is that your heart's not in something. There's something emotionally dissatisfying that you guys are actually focusing on leaving behind with that Eight of Cups uh, energy showing here. Um, and this might be work, eight of coins, energy. It's almost like some of you guys are focusing on leaving a job or leaving a project. Because what I'm seeing here is the eight of cups facing outside of the eight of coins. So this card is not looking in anywhere near. It's not walking towards. It's got its back firmly turned, uh, turned to the eight of coins. So I feel that the focus now is on you guys leaving a job probably here. Okay, uh, the eight of coins is money or a job. I feel that you guys are actually leaving a job or you're focusing on leaving behind 
a job. Uh, more, it might also be with the Age of Cups energy, you're focusing on leaving something behind, but with the Ace of Coins energy, starting something new with the Ace of Coins, okay? So leaving something behind for some of you guys and actually starting something new with the Ace of Coins energy showing here. Uh, but I feel that you are right now saying, look, I'm just going to take a step back and dig deep and try and kind of... It's either some of you guys are doing your research on it with the High Priestess, because the High Priestess means a couple of things. It, it actually means we don't take any action. I'm kind of going to just remain kind of impassive to this at the moment. And uh, sorry, I'm going to remain passive to this at the moment. I'm not going to take any action. It's like a four of swords. Let me think about it a moment. What the high priest does is let me just dig a little bit deeper about this. So I actually feel that this isn't, for some of you guys, you're leaving the job and you need to kind of just sit back there and think about what you're doing before you do it with the high priestess. Or this is you guys leaving something behind you're wanting to develop, uh, work on something new with the Ace of Coins energy. But again, with that High Priestess energy, some of you guys are taking a step back, probably just to consider your options and work out whether this is kind of, dig a little bit deeper and say, let me just get a little bit more information on this. Uh, the advice going forward uh, for you Aquarians in the first two weeks of April 2019, the 1st and the 15th uh, from the universe is the Nine of Wands. You need to stand by your goals. Okay, it's telling you not to give up with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, no matter how tricky the road might get, Aquarius, he always stands by his post. He doesn't give up. So the universe is telling you not to give up here with the Nine of Wands energy. It doesn't matter if you feel that things are getting a bit rough. It's telling you not to give up with that Nine of Wands energy showing here. You've got the Page of Wands in the reverse, though, showing up here. So... It's telling you not to give up. I feel that it's something to do with your lack of confidence or shyness with the page of wands in the reverse. So you can't give up because it's saying something after that page of wands reverse. Let me get it's saying it's warning you about something. It's saying that if you don't go for this thing, page of wands in the reverse, if you hide your light underneath a bushel with the page of wands in the reverse um, energy. But the page of wands in the reverse might again be just telling you to take time to think. Um it's almost something Five of Swords energy is lost. Other people, I think, are going to get ahead of you. Because this Five of Swords, this lady on the card here, she's ahead of these two people. Can you see in the background? She's head chef. She's got ahead of these people. And she's got ahead of them because she's quite astute and she's quite formidable. Whereas the other people weren't. And in a way, when I look at these two people at the back here, Aquarius, can you see on the card these two people standing here? And she's kind of like, right, you do what I say. It's almost like the Page of Wands energy. He was too afraid to allow themselves to, uh, you know, to allow their light to shine. This person was too afraid to go out there and explore new territory. This person was too bashful. They were too, is that bashful the right word? Too afraid. And it's saying you need to stay by your post with the Nine of Wands energy. Because if you don't with the Page of Wands in the reverse, if you kind of allow your fears and your shyness to kind of hold you back, I do feel with the Five of Swords energy, you're probably going to be in the back seat for a long time. Some of you guys are probably going to be in work or in jobs where you're just taking orders. And the universe is saying, well, actually, Aquarius, you could probably actually do a bit better than that. So you need to focus on, I think, with the Page of Pentacles, the focus needs to be on your dreams more than anything else with the Page of Coins energy showing here. Because the Page of Coins is all about having a dream and a desire and wanting to build that dream and desire with the Page of Coins. So it's not necessarily about money, but it's about having a dream. It's about having a goal and wanting to build on that goal with the Page of Coins. And that needs to be the focus for the month for Aquarius. We're going to quickly hone down on the cards, Aquarius, and we're going to kind of face down the, the video on here so you can actually see the layout. Just bear with me. Okay, guys, so here is your layout, as you can see. You should be able to see that really well. Um, so the focus for the, the next two weeks, uh, Aquarius, needs to be on the page of coins energy showing here, okay? So you need to really kind of focus on, uh, you know, um, your ideals, your dreams, your goals with the page of coins energy. You can see that this girl is reading a book, okay? So you need to focus on educating yourself as well. I feel with the page of coins energy, but I also feel with this pentacle, you need really need to kind of see what you have in your hands at the moment. Because the one thing that I noticed with the pentacle characters, like the queen of coins, 
the knight of coins, the king of coins, the page of coins, they all do one thing, they all clench that coin real tightly. It's almost like it's, you know, it's a possession. So for me, this is also about being aware of the value that you hold in your hands. So in other words, be aware of the opportunity that you have. And I feel that you guys really need to focus on the opportunity that you have at the moment. You know, if this resonates with you, you really need to be valuing the opportunities that are being presented to you at the moment. In other words, with the page of coins energy, there's an opportunity to educate yourself to learn something to develop something here with the page of coins energy uh, showing up because in the past some of you guys kind of lost interest I think with this knight of wands in the reverse you became demotivated with the knight of wands in the reverse uh, you stopped pursuing a goal okay but I do feel that you know it might be somebody around you with the king of coins energy showing here it might be uh, the idea about money for example uh, with the uh, king of coins energy making a huge amount of money with the king of coins energy showing here that's motivating you now with the eight of wands energy to start Start launching this thing up again with the Eight of Wands energy. It's kind of motivating you. The King of Coins is motivating you with the Eight. Because the Eight of Wands isn't just about messages. It's also about motivation. Okay, so the King of Coins, this might be a person. It might be, you know, somebody you've seen on the TV. It might be an entrepreneur is, is motivating you. You might have kind of stopped pursuing a big dream. But it might be at the same time you know, by the, by the same coin, side of the coin, this, though you start pursuing this big dream with the king of coins, this big business with the king of coins, it might be that a person that you've seen, an entrepreneur or, you know, Alan Sugar or, uh, you know, uh, Bill Gates or who were these would naturally be king of coins types, you know, big business people here. Might be somebody's motivating you now to take the baton back up again. Might be that you stopped, you didn't go for a job that was offered to you, for example, in the past, because this could be like a king of coins uh, messaging or offering you a job or, you know, a big job being offered with the king, with the eight of wands energy. I just feel that you stopped pursuing something in this area here, Aquarius. And I feel that right now, your your mental area going into the next two weeks, the 1st to the 15th of April 2019, Aquarius, will be that some of you guys, it might be where you want to leave behind what no longer satisfied you and what you want to do is start something new. So if you guys start pursuing something great in your past with the Knight of Wands in the reverse uh, being the lack of motivation card, uh, the, 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 the standstill card, um, the irrational card with the Knight of Wands, the reckless card, you start pursuing this energy here, but yet you've seen someone around or you know what someone that's who's in a position as a king of coins somebody who's got money somebody who's got wealth somebody who's did really well somebody who's an entrepreneur somebody who's a big business person who's motivating you might be that you say well right now what I'm thinking is is that my life's a bit of a mess and I, what I want to do is I want to kind of remove myself from that and I want to start something new here I want to work in something new I want to work in something that's going to allow me to build a big foundation because underneath the ace of coins the foundation of this work is the king of coins it's making a lot of money so the reason why you want to focus on making a lot of money mentally is because at the root of it it's all about making big money and for some of you guys it's about rising to a place of prominence because it sits underneath the a so it's the foundation of this particular card however some of you guys are kind of like well the high priestess you know, I need to kind of, this is passive energy, so she's very different from an ace of wands. You guys might be motivated by the idea of making a lot of money by an entrepreneur, but some of you guys are kind of like thinking going into the next two weeks, Aquarius, actually, I need to just step back a minute and, number one, consider my options with the high priestess. Number two, maybe I just don't do anything right now with the high priestess. Or number three, I need to kind of delve deeper. All right, which would be with the page of coins energy where you need to kind of do the focus learning research with the page of coins because some of you guys are actually saying well I need to delve deeper into this I need to actually really kind of if I'm, I'm going to do something new here with the ace of coins or if I'm going to leave my job right now because I want to pursue something new something that's going to give me you know greater status in life someone that's going to give me bigger money in life with the king of coins energy something that I was too maybe afraid to go through before then I need to really take a step back and learn as much as I possibly can before launching this thing before launching into it before fully kind of thrusting myself at this I need to learn more the universe is saying stand by your post 
all right, stand by your post because it might be others. And it also with the Five of Swords, this is somebody who is manipulative. So I feel that it's saying that really the advice is for April, stand by your post. If this is how you feel, because underneath the Nine of Wands, we've got all of this lovely energy here. Well, yeah, you were kind of kind of uh, taken off track at one point, Aquarius. At one point, you couldn't be bothered or you were too afraid to pursue something big. But suddenly, you might have seen someone who's got a big car or somebody who's got lots of nice material things or someone who's doing really really well and you might say hmm, they're doing really well you know that's really motivated me to go for this again it really has just seen what this this might be your neighbor or your friend or you know whoever it is your sister or your brother but there's somebody who I think is motivating you and saying you know what I need to pick this baton up again and though you say you know you've got to be careful as well because I thought for some of you guys if the thinking is yeah I want to kind of maybe move out of a mundane job with the eight of coins or I want to move out of you know a job that I don't feel emotional connection to and I want to start working and developing uh, something else with the Ace of Coins energy, maybe my own business, for example, or maybe working for someone else in which I can have more prospects and more growth with the King of Coins, then I need to just take a step back and say, you know what, let me just think about this and do a bit more research. The universe is saying, you know, be careful of this energy as well, of the High Priestess. She's a great energy to have if you're going to literally do your research. But if you're going to do kind of sitting back and doing nothing again, you'll fall right back into that Knight of Wands energy there. Because he became demotivated. And the problem with the high priestess is she does as well. She does exactly the same thing. She's the type of woman that will sit in front of a TV with a, with a hot dinner. Do you know what I mean? Watching her favourite soaps and not getting off the couch. It's amazing that she doesn't look as fat as the Empress, to be honest with you, sometimes. Not being horrible, but that's the type of dude she is. The type of lady she is. She's impassive and she's kind of like not affected. And she's kind of like... She's the type of person who just won't take any action at all. She's a couch potato, is the high priestess. So be careful. And remember, look at this. When we do the Lenaman type of counting, uh, which we call knighting, one, two, one, two, three, four. So when you knight a card, you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So really, this high priestess is very much connected to your lack of motivation. And your lack of motivation is connected to the high priestess. And this is connected with the nine of wands energy. You're just trudging along here for some of you guys. You're holding out with the nine of wands. But this is connected with you kind of saying, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Or I'll do it tomorrow. Or I'll do, which is what the high priestess would say. She's like, mm, yeah, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Because she's never, she's not active. She's not quick enough. She's not like an eight of wands, which is bam, bam, bam. Just do it now. Get it done now. Do it now. Do it now. She's kind of like, everything is tomorrow. And that is very connected to your lack of motivation in pursuing this big dream so be careful of that energy because your thought process is yeah I do want to do something new yeah I want to lose the, I want to leave the mundane job but I need to just sit and think about it for a moment and the universe is saying uh, 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 be careful of that it's fine if you're going to do your research this time Aquarius you're really going to have to do it because before you didn't before you became bored and you didn't bother doing this and now you're seeing other people and what they've got and you're saying I want some of that and it's motivating you and that's great to be motivated by what other people's success has brought them. And everybody should do it. But by the same token, sometimes if you sit back and say, I want to just do my research and find out how I can replicate and get what they want. Well, the problem is, is that sometimes you can kind of veer off track. You can get kind of sidelined or you can kind of, you know, get distracted. And the universe is saying, we don't want you to get distracted. And the advice is you've got to keep on going going forward so the universe is saying because the universe knows some of you Aquarians if you agree with me Aquarians have kind of got sidetracked because you became demotivated you stopped pursuing the big dream you know and the universe is saying well you know you've got to stop it you know because you say oh I'll do it tomorrow but tomorrow turns into next week and then next month and then next year and then two years and then you don't do this you know, so the universe is saying you've really, the advice is you've got to stick with it because if you do the page of wands in the reverse, which is similar to the knight of wands in the reverse and the high priestess, they're very similar energies. Passive energies are all three. They don't do what they say that they're going to do. She sits down on her ass and does nothing. He gets bored and he kind of runs out of steam, you know. He allows his fears and he's, he's not as bashful and it's kind of, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm, you know, I'm really excited about this. He's like, oh, yeah, I was excited. But, you know, uh, I, I just thought, well, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. They're one, two, not in one traverse, high priestess and page of one traverse, all similar energies. Don't tap into that energy because if you tap into that energy, you're always going to be in the back. You're never going to be in the front. You're always going to be in the back. And you're always going to, if you look at these guys, they've got their hands folded and they look, they're like, huh. 
why should this person be successful? Because you, you never know with the Five of Swords who's the baddie and who's the goodie. These two could easily be the goodie. This might be the person who's being cast out, okay? Because, you know, maybe she's reacting to how they're acting to her. So you don't want to be in the background seeing other people being... This is like, you know, this is like uh, Ramsey. What's his name? Um... Oh, that Chef Ramsay, I can't remember his first name. The Chef Ramsay, you know what I'm talking about. That Chef. Gordon Ramsay, that's his name. This is like Gordon Ramsay and his sous chef. You don't want to be the fucking sous chef. You want to be the head chef. Of course you want to be the head chef because you allow people to influence you wanting to go for your dreams. So of course you want to be on top. But it takes action. And that's what some of you Aquarians are lacking. So the focus for the month needs to be on those dreams. The achievement of the gold with the page of coins energy. Okay, holding on to what you value, valuing the opportunities that are put in your way, learning from stuff, okay, learning and development is the key for the month, for the next two weeks, sorry, 1st and the 15th of April 2019, Aquarius, if you want to get anywhere, it takes hard work, if you decide to procrastinate, which is what the High Priestess is, if you decide, and it's linked to you not doing anything here with the Knight of Wands, and it's also linked to you consistently saying, tomorrow, 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 you know, you want to do it today, you got to get moving, all right? You've got to focus on that page of coins energy. If you want to be in business for your first, I'll focus on that. But procrastination isn't going to get you anywhere, okay? So you need to focus in the next two weeks on really kind of, you know, if you're going to, if you say with the high priestess energy, I want to do something here. I don't want to be in this mundane job or I want to leave somewhere and I want to start working for myself or I want to leave somewhere and I want to start work developing something that I find of interest. You've got to use the high priestess not as a, a reason just to sit back and do nothing, but you've got to use this card as a reason to go and delve in and explore and Find out and educate yourself. She deals with the themes of education. Educating yourself on why or how this king got to where he is. Because that is what you didn't pursue. But it's what influences you to actually take action. Okay. Let's have a quick look at five cards. Uh, any other energies uh, coming in for uh, coming in for Aquarius. Let's have a look. Uh, Universe Spirit. Uh, five more cards please. Uh, just to tell us what's coming in. Five more cards, please. Five more cards. Uh, right, that one shows up strength is uh, coming in for you guys. Uh, show me five more cards, please, for Aquarius uh, coming in for 1st to the 15th of April 2019. Show me. Right, one, two, uh, three, four. Okay, so we've got our five cards there, and let's have a look at what the universe is saying. Are there energies coming in? So you've got strength. Strength is all about having, having self-restraint. Uh, it's all about having self-belief, trusting with the strength energy. It's all about power of mind. So mind over matter is the strength energy. Let's have a look. Uh, the Queen of Coins shows here as well, Aquarius. Okay, so the uh, energy is coming in. The other stuff coming in is strength, okay? Uh, the Page of Coins, funny, because you just had that card show. This is shows as the Princess of Coins in this deck, but it's, I actually still read it as the Page of Coins. So this is all about knowledge and accounting, all right? This is all about um, application as well. So you need to have discipline because strength is all about having that discipline. You have to have the discipline, okay, to sit down and really apply yourself, to study, apply yourself to learning because this is all about application and the need to apply yourself to learning something new here. So you need to have the strength the conviction and the self-discipline with the strength energy to actually with this page of coins energy to apply yourself to learning a craft with this page of coins energy to learning about a system to learning something that is going to help you develop going forward with the page of coins energy uh the ace of swords okay so i feel that if you apply yourself with this page of coins energy showing here it's going to bring you more power it's going to put you in a far more powerful position with the ace of swords energy i also feel that you need to kind of do your sums here the page of coins for me is also if you look at her she's doing an account here so she's an accountant she's showing here so for some of you guys you need to kind of be focusing on your money as well over the next couple of weeks as well so this is doing your sums Okay, the Ace of Swords is writing things down, so it's the pen. So some of you guys really need to be focusing on bookkeeping as well, uh, and you need to have the discipline to do that. If you've not been kind of, especially if you run a business or something, you need to be focusing on your books over the next, because remember, uh, actually April is the tax year, the end of the tax year, so it's probably important if you do run a business of your own, 
uh, Aquarius that you do some bookkeeping here. This is the Ace of Swords is the written word and the page of coins is uh, actually taking account of your finances. So you need to write down the finances here and you need to have the discipline to do this as well because it is the tax year coming up around the 6th of April. I think that's the cutoff time for taxes and stuff. So yeah, we've all got to do our taxes. So definitely if you run a business, you know, you need to be focusing on making sure that you've got your tax accounts in order with these energies here. Uh, the Ace of Cups could be something new. You've got two Aces showing up here. Uh, this is also new plans, new plans overflowing. So you'll find that Ace of Cups for me is where there's an overflow of something. So you might have an overflow of new ideas coming in. It's good to write that down and take account of those things as well because she's taking account. So there's an overflow of ideas coming in. Could be business-wise. It's good to take account of those things. So it's important to write down a lot of your intentions and a lot of your goals and a lot of your ideas as well in the next couple of weeks. You've got the Tower Reverse, though. The Tower Reverse says that you're avoiding something here. Something's being avoided, showing up here. An overflow is being avoided, or something coming out is being avoided here with the Tower in the Reverse. Because the Ace of Wands, uh, the Ace of Cups is the overflow, and the Tower in the Reverse is something's being avoided here. All right, so there's something that should be coming out, I think, with this Ace of Cups, but it's being suppressed as well. This is suppression. It's being avoided. I'm just going to clarify that Ace, that Tower Reverse. What's being? Because I, I certainly feel that this is kind of like on its own here. I certainly feel that you know. The first few cards are saying that you need to have the strength to be disciplined and apply yourself to doing your taxes. If you uh, run your own company or you run your own business, uh, you're filing your taxes is going to be important in the next couple of weeks. So you need to be focusing on that, your bookkeeping, that type of thing. Uh, I certainly feel that you'll be overflowing with new ideas and you certainly need to. So overflowing the Ace of Cups with new ideas or new plans, Ace of Swords, and you certainly need to be writing that down. And again, you need to be disciplined in doing that as well. Uh, I certainly feel that uh, the tower stands alone, though, I feel, because it's reversed. Uh, but this can also be creative blocks as well. Some of you guys might be experiencing, though, creative block because the Ace of Cups is all about creativity and the Tower Reverse can be about a blockage. So it could be that, just going through this again, uh, bookkeeping important, taxes being done, have the discipline to do that, strength. Uh, these are the taxes, these are your accounts, and this is the written word. So writing your bookkeeping in those areas there is important. Also, um, have the discipline as well, new ideas, overflowing with new ideas, write those things down, write down your goals, have the discipline to do that. Uh, maybe you'll need to write down goals in terms of what it is that you need to overcome for the rest of the year, things, obstacles, that type of thing. I do feel your creativity is being blocked here. Why is uh, creativity being blocked for, um, for, uh, for, Aquarius in the next two weeks why is their creativity being blocked in two cards one to two cards because uh, Queen of Coins energy shows up here so Queen of Coins is all about your resources or what you have it's about what you value here uh, new beginnings all right uh, showing up here the full energy is the new beginning it's taking a risk um, I feel it's something to do with your finances and taking a risk with your resource because this is taking a risk the fall uh, this is new opportunities. That I don't really read the Queen of Coins as work. This could be new opportunities for work, for example. Some of you guys might be looking for new work, perhaps. Maybe your creativity is being blocked here. Uh, or it might be that the focus for the next two weeks is, uh, for example, Ace of Cups could be something like creativity. Maybe with the uh, Tower Energy, it's not right for you to explore that just yet for some of you guys, even though you need to write certain things down. Maybe for some of you guys, you're looking for a new job or something like that. But also you've got um, the uh, the the uh, Queen of Coins and the Fool. Queen of Coins can be a mother figure. This can be a child. So maybe this is something to do with having to pay attention to your children, that type of thing. So it might be that your creativity or your ability to kind of focus on creative stuff for some of you Aquarians is being kind of overlooked or blocked with the Tower Reverse because it might be for some of you guys you have children for example you have to pay attention to maybe uh, I think the the uh, Easter holidays is coming up or something like that get some the Raja of mother and child it might be something to do with your resources as well uh the full energy here it's about kind of um Full energy is freedom. So being free, res res being free with resources, uh, opportunity here, 
This is kind of like you showing something. This is like value, showing your value. New opportunities, new beginnings, taking a risk with your resources, taking risk with your resources. Some of you guys, your creative, uh, your creative juices are being blocked because it's all about kind of your resources here and taking a risk with those resources. I feel that this is universal though for some of you guys. I get this is universal in this area here. I feel that if you find that your creative juices are being blocked in April, it's because the universe doesn't want you to risk what you have, though, in these areas, especially if it means throwing money at something, Aquarius. It might be that it's not the best time to do that. It might be saying that your creative juices or maybe something new happening uh, with the Tower of Energy showing here. It might be also the Ace of Cups is an invitation. So it might be that there's an invitation is uh, with the Tower Reverse. It might be something that you can't kind of respond to or you can't do with the Tower Reverse because it might be you, uh, your uh, resources uh, here uh, being free of resources, for example, or taking a risk or risky behavior with resources. Maybe there's a need, and it did say here that you need to be careful with money and do bookkeeping. So it might be something simply here that is kind of reinforcing this energy here where you need to be careful with that money. All right, I do feel that you really need to be careful with your money and not so free with it because the fool is kind of falling, he's reckless. He's about to go over this hill and he's on some sort of wheel. So he's about to go over and God knows what's going to happen to him and it's happening with the resources. So this person's about to kind of piss the resources up the world. You know, they're about to take a gamble. Remember, the the um, uh, the fool is also taking a gamble with the money. So this might also be that uh, you're, uh, you know, with the Ace of Cups energy, the Ace of Cups is all about free fall being blocked. So it might be something to do with your natural propensity to be free, it could be, uh, with money, with your resources, because we've got the Queen of Coins here. So this might be about your freedom, being free with your resources here is being blocked, because it might be that you're taking a gamble and it might be the risk is too much. So the uh, energy for the next two weeks as well is you need to be careful with your resources and make sure that you're not being too risky with what you have because it might be that you lose cash. So if you take a gamble with your cash, be prepared to perhaps lose it for some of you Aquarians. We're going to quickly do this reading one more time before we finish off on the, the last cards. Uh, be disciplined. Accounts here written down. Bookkeeping is important over the next couple of weeks. You guys that run businesses or have to account for kind of work that you've done. This is tax time. Uh, so bookkeeping is important. Also, uh, you're probably have, going to have a flurry of new ideas. An overflow, Ace of Cups, new ideas, new plans with the Ace of Swords. You need to write that stuff down, take account of all of that, and have the strength to do that as well and the discipline to do it. You're going to forget stuff. However, be careful with being too free with the Ace of Cups energy, with your resources, with the Queen of Coins energy. The universe, it's it, with the Tower of Energy in the reverse, you need to kind of take a step back and not do that. I think with the Tower Reverse, because it might be that if you gamble with the full energy with your resources, you might end up losing it and not seeing it, okay? So it's a time just to really batten down the hatches concerning your money as well, okay? It's not a time for frivolous spending, because perhaps it's for some of you guys. I do my taxes every uh, January, basically, so I have, like, time to save my money, make sure that all my money's there to pay for my tax, at the end of the year, some people pay their tax kind of as soon as the tax year kicks off uh, April or, you know, so some of you guys, it might be a good idea not to be so frivolous because you have to make sure that you're balancing the books. Uh, finally, let's have a quick look at the advice through um, three cards through the tea leaves. Universe Brick, what's the advice through the tea leaf cards? Uh, 1st of the 15th of April 2019 for Aquarius. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. We've got four cards out. No, five. Wow. Okay, I have to take them. Desk, pay attention to your work. It did say that. I did say that for you. Bookkeeping, pay attention to your work, guys. What's the next one? Moon, changes are coming in your life showing here. Okay. Um, you've got seahorse. There will be family matters. So changes might be coming in your life regarding family matters, Aquarius. Uh, you've got the well. Family wishes coming true. So a lot of stuff going on about the family here as well. And finally, the carrot. An opportunity or windfall could be coming to you. Yes, it could be. But still, I feel that you need to be careful with your resources. Okay, Even if you get a windfall or you get some form of cash coming in, there is a need not to go out and piss that up the wall as well. 
Um, and finally, let's get your advice, spiritual advice through the Carl Gray deck. Let's have a look at what your spiritual advice is. Universe Spirit, what's the spiritual advice you have for Aquarius? What's the spiritual advice you have for Aquarius in one card between the 1st and the 15th of um, April 2019? Show me. Uh, spiritual advice is uh, Stargazer. Yep, yeah, set your sights higher. Okay, don't be afraid to set those sights higher. All right, you're going all the way. All right, remember the reading that we've just done as well. Okay, remember that reading because it's all about the page of coins. You need to set your sights higher, set your sights on your goals. Okay, and work towards achieving those. If you don't do that and you sit back and you say, oh, tomorrow, use the high priestess as a way to find and to research and to educate yourself, not as a way to sit in front of the TV and procrastinate and say, I'll do it tomorrow, so it will never get done. So set your sights higher. All right, that is your reading, Aquarius. I would like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carriage Universe. If you'd like to order a private reading with me, you can go through to... Um, you can go through, it's on the top, uh, right or left, there's an I up there. You just click on that, there's a link, and it will take you straight through to my website. Okay, love you loads, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.